Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So it is after one o'clock and I am just finishing up uploading the previous vlog. So we're just hanging out. I'm gonna go pick stuff up here shortly and he and I are gonna go and run a few errands together. Yeah, so want to come in and say hello start out this new vlog and see what we get into today hello everyone so it is like two days later i have not vlogged not that that matters to you guys because here we are but i've just been doing a lot of little projects around yeah. here organizing i spent the majority of the day going through pj's clothes getting rid of all of his like two little stuff just stuff that's stained like summer stuff that he won't be able to fit next summer yeah all of that type of stuff and it's funny because he does not have a whole lot of clothes but that took me literally all afternoon so I did that yesterday. I did go to Zara and H&M and I picked him up a few things and I also ordered um, him and Seth some stuff online, stuff that I couldn't find in store on Zara and Nordstrom. So that stuff should be coming soon. Yeah, I've really just been doing like housekeeping stuff around here, just organizing and just, you know, cleaning, laundry all that good stuff and i was just sitting here editing editing and i was like okay i have like three minutes of footage and that's not gonna work so tomorrow will be better um i had every intention on vlogging today and yesterday and i just was like i don't feel like it you know i just was not in the mood i didn't feel like talking to the camera nothing against you guys i just wasn't in the mood I hung out with seth the other day ran some errands which was fun it's always fun just when it's just me and him hanging out together we did that and yeah just finished the feeding pj it's five o'clock so he just had his dinner seth is going to start his homework here soon so i'm going to help him with that and so i've just been working out eating well so we went to whole foods picked up a few things oh we got these cookies y'all speaking of eating well i did have this cookie this is septon's fault because he wanted to try these we got these pumpkin spice tates cookies they're pretty good i am more of a chewy cookie person i prefer my cookies to be soft these are like crisp i did have one but because they're crisp i probably won't be eating anymore i just like soft cookies but septon really really likes them so they won't go to waste and um we just picked up some other stuff for his lunch this week so yeah that's that's what i've been up to just stuff around the house so i am gonna go help stuff with his homework and then i'll fix me something to eat i will see you guys tomorrow I'm 
everyone so PJ and I just got back in we tried out a new coffee spot called goddess and the baker and I got the pumpkin apple latte is so good y'all I want to try to make this myself that's what I got and then PJ and I ate um, a pumpkin scone together after that we went for a walk because I needed to get some steps in <laughs> now he's napping and I'm just sitting here trying to piece together this vlog for you guys <laughs> because uh yeah it's kind of all over the place but this afternoon I want to go to the container store maybe crate and barrel or cb2 um, there's also a world market over there <sighs> i don't know but yeah that's the plan i just want to get some bins so that i can start organizing the bathroom because if y'all saw underneath that sink right now you'd be like oh my goodness how are you functioning like it's just stuff everywhere like i literally took everything out of my bathroom box like from moving i wrote on the box bathroom stuff and i literally just put everything underneath there so i need to really get that organized because i'm starting to get frustrated every time i have to go down there and look for something it's so frustrating we're gonna do that and kind of look around in there i've just been kind of like doing inventory around here to see what i already have so that i'm not like just buying unnecessary stuff so yeah i definitely need some like sweater drawers that should be it so i need about four of those i could put two on each side and then that should that should work well for all of my stuff that i have down there now that's it then we'll probably grab some lunch um probably gonna go to sweet green because that's like my go-to quick on the go lunch <laughs> and it's healthy and it's good i actually ran into one of my supporters in there <laughs> i cannot remember her name but i was in there with both the boys this was like a couple weeks ago and um she said hi so i thought that was pretty cool uh, that's the second person i have ran into here so yeah you just never know where you're gonna run into someone here you know it's just so random but yeah i think i'm gonna pick up a salad for lunch yeah that'll be it so i'm gonna finish editing this vlog it probably won't be a 30 minute one y'all because i mean we've been doing stuff i've just not been vlogging like this past weekend sefton wanted to be a chicago tourist so we went to millennial park we hung out down there like most of the day went to the bean there was like a concert going on i think it was like local um up and coming artists maybe but i'll insert the footage here for you guys we just had a good old time we went to the park <laughs>
<laughs> so I've been doing stuff. I've just not really like doing it for a vlog. I've just been doing it for myself. And so, yeah, that's what I've been kind of like dedicating the weekends to. I've not been vlogging on the weekends. Yeah, so I'll check back in with you guys once I'm in the car on my way to the container store. All right. Day. PJ and I just dropped stuff off at school and now we are getting ready to run into Whole Foods and pick up a few things. This morning on the ride in to drop stuff off, he asked me to make him some um, pumpkin bread. And so, so I am going to attempt to make it like from scratch and not out of the box. I'm gonna try to make a healthier version. So I need to get some oat flour. And um, I already have pumpkin puree and I need to get some vanilla extract and maple syrup. So I'm gonna get that and a couple other things uh, that we need. And we're gonna make some pumpkin bread hopefully it turns out good uh, but yeah we're gonna do that also a little mom hack for moms with small kids uh i keep this vaseline all over body balm in the car i wouldn't recommend doing this like during the summer or in the warmer months but right now it's good because it's cool here keep this in the car because you'll be surprised when you pull up to your child's school and you go to kiss them and say bye have a good day and they face is looking real crusty i don't know how it happens because i put lotion on septon's face and vaseline every morning so yeah that's my little mom tip and it works good it's not messy you just roll it up have them roll it over their face or you do it i use it on pj too so yes get you one of these all over body bombs by vaseline and just keep it in your car and that ensures your children always have moisturized skin um i use it on my lips sometimes so there's that all right Let's go and get some stuff from Whole Foods. Look at the pumpkin.
All right, y'all, we are back home now. Do a little grocery haul, and then we will get started on the pumpkin bread. All right, so got some tortilla chips, some uh, little bite sea salt pretzels. I've never seen them in the little bite size. Some Dutch pancake bites. These are Sefton's favorite little breakfast and PJs too. Got some eggs. I got a bag of pumpkin seeds to top off the pumpkin bread. I got some oat flour for the pumpkin bread. Got some sweet potato littles for PJ. Also got him some spinach littles. These are just great little quick and easy snacks or lunch for him. And I got him a thing of this little um, mac and cheese. He is like his mama, he loves mac and cheese. And then I got some of these cinnamon apple little pouches for Sefton. He's been taking these in his lunch and he ran out today. And then I got these little fiber and protein little like bars for PJ. Little snack bars. So that's in that bag. Right. Some boneless, skinless chicken thigh and some drumsticks. Got bacon soda, apples, maple syrup for the pumpkin bread. Some lemonade juice boxes for Sefton's lunch because he has been really liking these over the pouches. Got some creamer, almond milk, and PJ's milk. This is the plant-based milk that he drinks. Also picked up some of the Poppy prebiotic sodas. They were on sale. I, I got some fresh broccoli, some cotton candy grapes. Sefton wanted some pomegranate. Got some blueberries, some strawberries, Brussels sprouts, blackberries, string cheese, and chicken and maple sausage links and chicken and apple sausage patties. Sefton goes back and forth between which one he likes. So I just get both. Um, PJ eats both. So, so we got those. Also stopped by Target. They had two for 10 on their iced coffee. Got some pistachios, my favorite. And I got the Dan and Light and Fit Greek pumpkin pie uh, yogurts. They didn't have the Chobani ones that I like, so I just got those. These are 80 calories each, so I got some paint and paint brushes for Sefton and PJ. I'm gonna do some like pumpkin. I don't know, you guys remember I bought those little pumpkins that they can color on? So we're gonna do that either this week or next week. I went through Sefton's stuff and all his little paint like this is dried out. And I saw two brushes, so I just got a new pack of brushes for them and some paint. And yeah, so that should be fun. Got some vanilla extract because I need this for the pumpkin bread. And yeah, that's everything that I picked up on my grocery shopping outing. I'm gonna get this little bit of stuff put away because I've been putting stuff away as I've been showing it to you guys just to make it easier for me. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and then make me some coffee because I'm starting to get a headache and I probably need to eat something too. So when I come back, we'll get started on making this pumpkin bread. Yes.
All right, guys, so we are getting ready to get started on our pumpkin bread. So I'm gonna be using my little loaf maker by Caraway. This is part of the bake set that I have. So I thought this would be perfect. I've never used it before, so I figured why not? The recipe that I found on Pinterest is from Skinny Fit Fitalicious. It's a healthy pumpkin oat bread, um, gluten-free and low-cal. So here's what it looks like. My pumpkin puree here, measuring stuff. I'm gonna use my mixing bowl. This is my Valentine's Day mixing bowl, but I use it all year round. It's so cute, I love it. And it's easy to pour. I am gonna go ahead and get started on this and I will just let you guys watch. I won't talk through this whole process cause that would just be boring. So I am going to play some music for you guys. guys so the pumpkin bread is in the oven it says bake for 30 to 35 minutes on 350 so the dilemma that I had was the pumpkin seeds I wasn't sure if I should put them on before I put it in and let them bake with it or should I wait and add them later because I didn't want them to burn you know but now I'm thinking I should have just like sprinkled a few on top. Maybe I'll wait until it's like halfway through and then I'll sprinkle them on top. Cause I don't want them to burn, you know? Um, so yeah, I'll add those midway. But smells delicious, looks pretty good. I mean, it was super easy to make. So yeah. Now let this bake. I'm gonna clean up this mess because <laughs> this was not a clean as you go situation. I should have cleaned as I went. I did not end up needing my measuring cup or these little bowls. This was really just gonna be kind of like an aesthetics thing, but I was like, I don't feel like doing all that. So 
I saved myself those dishes. I've never had an oat flour before, so I'm really interested in seeing how this tastes. Um, I love oatmeal, so we'll see, but uh, it's the Arrowhead Meals brand. Also, I ordered some labels for my spices because I'm going to start transferring them over to these little jars. Now, I picked these up from Target. I think they were like $2 each. They were the Threshold brand. But when I was in a container store, they had some that had like a black top that looked really, really like nice and modern. So, I don't know. These are more affordable. So I may just stick with these. I think once the labels are on, it'll look nice. So yeah, cause I think the ones at the container store, like $5 for just one. So if I do that, I may just do just two for my like coffee drawer. So it, you know, looks nice. But yeah, I'm waiting on those to come. They should come today. If they come today, um, we'll do it together. I also got several, several, several questions about my pumpkin spice dispenser. I got several questions here on YouTube. I did link it because I knew y'all were gonna be like all over this thing. Um, and I got a lot of questions on Instagram, but I didn't put a link on Instagram. I just put a link here. But this is actually an oil dispenser that I decided to use as a coffee syrup dispenser because all the ones that I see, I don't like them. I don't like the ones with the big pump, um, although I know that's like the most popular kind. And I just wanted something that looked different and modern. So I got this one from CB2 and the labels are actually off Amazon. I ordered the same labels for my spices from this label company on there, but they have basically all of the like syrups. So simple syrup and the pumpkin one was on this side. Mocha, chocolate, amaretta, caramel, Irish cream, cinnamon. And then they have ones that just say coffee, espresso, if you, I guess, want to label like actual like containers. Peppermint, French vanilla, salted caramel, says coffee pods. So yeah, this was a really, really, really nice little label pack. I thought about doing two of these and having one with the pumpkin spice and then one with like sugar-free French vanilla or sugar-free vanilla. But I decided that I would just do one and just switch out the labels as I switch out the syrups because I don't drink pumpkin spice syrup all year. Um, this is just a fall thing for me. And I'm not a really big like syrup person anyway. Like I don't do a lot of syrups, but I just thought that this looked really, really nice on my little coffee corner. So yeah, once this is gone, I'll switch out the label to like a vanilla and switch to syrup and that'll be that so yeah but i'll put a link for you guys in this video as well um if you want to check it out but i need to kind of refill that because it's getting low so this is what's in there i picked this up from um was it home goods a while back so and you don't even need like a funnel or anything it just goes in just fine um, so yeah breakfast stuff or okay because i have not eaten okay okay all right so sorry about that um we're about to get some food. PK just got home, so we're gonna order some lunch from somewhere. So that is my syrup dispenser.
of truth put butter on mine I did it it's like regular bread not very sweet need some cinnamon need some honey Stephanie's putting cinnamon I'm putting honey on mine I like honey but I just don't want it's a lot of cinnamon I just need a really sweet. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Wow. Now. It's good, huh? You should put honey on it. Okay. It's so good. Good, y'all. Mom, it's true. Looks like a volcano. Tastes good. I like it. Well, there you go. It's good with the uh, cinnamon and the honey. I probably should have added more cinnamon. Mm -hmm. But I'll definitely be drizzling the honey on it. So, I'll leave the recipe in the description. Bye. Mm -hmm.